Russia and NATO are drifting towards a major war. The alliance may deploy its army in Ukraine. Is it possible that NATO forces could become directly involved in the military conflict between Russia and Ukraine? Until recently, such a question seemed very hypothetical, given the high risks of the escalation of the military confrontation between the US-led bloc and Russia into a large-scale armed conflict. But this scenario should be taken seriously now. Ivan Timofeev, program director of the Valdai Club of Russia, said this. According to him, the direct participation of individual NATO countries or the entire bloc in hostilities could gradually spiral out of control. Crossing red lines can lead to the belief that there will be no consequences for engaging in war. The result of such movements can manifest itself at an unexpected moment and lead to a much more dangerous situation than the current one. Strictly speaking, NATO countries have long been involved in the conflict. This takes several forms. First, Western countries provide Kiev with substantial financial and military assistance, including increasingly advanced and destructive weapons systems. Second, Ukraine receives extensive Western support in the form of intelligence, including technical data from satellites, radars, reconnaissance aircraft, etc. Third, military specialists who are citizens of NATO countries are involved in combat operations. For Kiev's Western partners, the sluggish pace of the conflict allows them to gradually improve the quality of their support for Ukraine. A significant escalation factor that would amplify the risk of a direct clash between Russia and NATO could be the appearance of military contingents from bloc members on the territory of Ukraine. The projects of such a scenario has already been mentioned by some Western politicians, although their view has not been supported by the US and isn't an official NATO position. A number of the bloc's leaders have distanced themselves from supporting the idea of sending troops to Ukraine. Intervention can take a number of forms. It may involve the use of infrastructure, including airfields of NATO countries. It could mean the mass deployment of certain communications and engineering units and air defense systems while avoiding their presence on the front line. Relatives of mobilized Russian soldiers demand their loved ones return from Ukraine. Relatives of mobilized Russian soldiers campaigning for their loved ones return from Ukraine have called on the authorities to replace these men with the sons of Russian officials and media personalities. We demand to replace our men with other quite specific men, the children and husbands of those who tell our citizens from the screens that war is good. The Put Domoy movement, which has organized women-led protests across the country calling for a full demobilization, wrote on its Telegram channel. We can make a list long enough to replace every mobilized person, the statement said. The list includes the sons of Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov, Kremlin loyal TV host Vladimir Solovyev, and former president Dmitry Medvedev. Something tells us that such a rotation will quickly put an end to all hostilities, Put Domoy said. Earlier this month, a group of women staged a protest outside the Defense Ministry building in Moscow, demanding the return of those mobilized and a meeting with new Defense Minister Andriy Belousov. Russia mobilized 300,000 reservists for the war in Ukraine in September and October 2022, and many have not returned home since. At least 6,456 of these mobilized men have been killed on the front lines, according to an independent tally conducted by the BBC's Russia service and the independent media zona news website the real number is believed to be higher russia last month labeled put domoy and one of the movement's leaders maria andreeva as foreign agents the women had previously been allowed to stage weekly protests in central moscow with authorities seemingly unwilling to antagonize relatives of men fighting in ukraine <laughs>